In this video, I'm going to share the results for an SEO test that I just concluded regarding the about property schema and mentions property schema. So first, I'm just going to show you the results of the test, and then I'm going to show you how to implement it in case you want to um, add this schema yourself. Um, okay, so I started the test on March 9th, 2023. And I applied this, this change, right, adding these entities to the schema on 10 pages. So these are the 10 URLs. They're all on one website. Um, and on this column, we have the main keyword that the article is trying to rank for. And then right here, we have the ranking position before I implemented the change. So these were the ranking positions on March 9th before implementing the change. Um, and then on this column, we have the ranking positions uh, on the 28th, which is today. So, um, you know, after I'm concluding the test. So, for example, this first article, the main keyword is trying to rank for is professional painting courses. And before I implemented the change, it was ranking position number 12. Um, after implementing, you know, now that I'm concluding the test, it's in position number seven. And over here on this column, we have the percent change. So this was a 42% improvement, right? From position 12 to seven is 42% improvement. Uh, and then this article went from position four for its main keyword to position three. So that's a 25% uh, improvement. And so if, um, we can look at the average. So if, if I select all of these, we can um, check right here. The average is about 41% improvement on the test group test group meaning the pages where i implemented the change so that's pretty good um however there was actually a google core update right in the middle of this so um, again i start i did the change on the 9th and i can i'm concluding it today on the 28th um, and normally i conclude them faster than that but because there was a google core update which actually happened on the 15th or 16th is when it started and that ended today as well so that's just why i, I kept the test going a little bit longer but there was a google core update uh, and it affected this website because the rankings of all of the pages throughout the site all went up it had a pretty big boost um, and so it's a good thing i had this control group um, but um, anyway, the control group. So the control group, it's another set of 10 pages where I did not apply the change, right? So I only added the, the schema to these 10 pages, not to these. And so same thing, I recorded their initial ranking position, their final ranking position, and the change. And so we can see that the average here is they went up about 24% um, on average. Um, and that is due to the Google Core update because the entire website went up. Uh, by or around that much. Um, and so that's the good thing about having a control group because, because you know, the entire website went up. If I would have done any change at all and I wouldn't have had a control group, I would have thought that whatever change I did must have led to the increase in rankings when in reality it was just a core update that affected the entire site. Um, yeah, so anyway, 41% uh, increase on the test group. Um, 24% increase in the control group. So that's about a 20% uh, net increase. So that's pretty good enough for me to where I'm going to pretty much be adding this to my standard operating procedures for publishing. So whenever I publish an article, um, it's just gonna be part of my regular list of things to do this, to add the entities to the schema. Um, because that 20% increase, um, I think is pretty good, you know, over, over these 10 pages versus the control group. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, this is the website that I use in order to generate the schema. It's called entitieschecker.com. Um, and you know, you can write the schema yourself, you know, using like schema.org or, or other websites. Uh, but this website makes it um, pretty easy and, and it can also help you get those entities right from your article. So if you go to this website, entitieschecker.com, and sometimes it's a little buggy, like yesterday it wasn't working, but it usually works pretty good. Um, on the sidebar, we have three options. You have URL analysis, and then um, that's the one we're going to be using today. The other two options, I use those as well for other things, but uh, for this thing, we're going to be using URL analysis. So what you do is you take, and this is what I did for all of these. So you take your URL. So let's just start with this URL and you paste it in there and you select the first checkbox that says extract ID from schema of URL. And then you click on submit. All right. And then it's going to show you this box right here. In order to write the schema, you have to select what type of page this is. So in this case, this is an article. You just select that. And then these are the 
the areas where you're going to add your entities. So you have to add your about entities and your mentions entities. Okay, um, and I'll get to that in, in a moment. And then you can also do um, knows about entities, but I'm not, I didn't do that for any of these. I'm only doing about and mentions. Uh, but then here, it also shows you actually a list of all of the entities in your article. So it's finding all of these entities uh, and showing them here, and it's giving you a confidence score, frequency. I think that's like the how, how often they appear in the article, uh, a relevance score. Uh, and by the way, if you go here to the homepage of uh, EntitiesTracker.com, you'll see like the links for the authors of, of this website. They have like a Twitter account um, and you can follow them. They have a YouTube channel as well. So you can learn more about, um, you know, how they get these scores and all of that. Here you can see them, uh, the entities by frequency. And so um, anyway, so what you want to do is you want to add your entities here. So when you when you click here on the about entities, um, it's going to have um, this this drop down field. And it's just going to show you the entities from from your article so and you can just start selecting them from here or you can even start typing and it'll find them so in this case what i did i believe was um because this article is about painting training courses so i'm pretty sure i did uh training for the about entities uh painting and there's probably not one for course yeah um and actually i'll show you exactly the ones that i picked and so this is the, remember, I already added them to this article, uh, but here is the uh, the HTML, the, the schema. And so um, let me zoom in actually so that you can see it better. So for the, um, for the about, right, we have a training, we have um, house painter. And then for the mentions, we have uh, education because the article mentions education, learning, uh, and that's it. All right. Um, so, you know, I, the people who I've heard talking about this method, um, they generally recommend only selecting about, you know, two, one to three about entities. And you, you want to make sure that these are really like exactly what your article is about. That's the general idea. And then mentions can be um, anything that your article mentions. However, you sh in general, what I hear people advise is that you also don't go crazy on these and only select maybe like a max five. So in this case, um, you saw that I only did two. I did courses and, uh, or, sorry, not course, education and, um, and I don't remember the other one, learning, I think it was. Um, so yeah, I'll do like one to max five mentions and try to make them, you know, things that seem really relevant to the topic of the article not so like in this case i, w I w probably wouldn't select like stucco i don't even or sherwin williams uh but things that just make a lot of sense like you know education uh maybe spray painting because it has a section on that um just things that are really relevant to the article and the idea is you're just helping google um, make sure they they really understand what the article is about they don't have to you know do the guesswork or or take a risk you know because you're telling them exactly what it's about um, so anyway, I'll, I'll just add here um, education and um, learning. All right. And so once you add your entities, you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on this option, this, this button that says download about and mentions entities, JSON LD. And so that is going to download a text file. Uh, I hope you can see it here in the recording. Uh, but all you do is you just copy it. Uh, to your clipboard. So select it all and copy it. And then you just add that to your article. That's it. So um, I already have it added here, but I'm actually going to um, remove it so that you can see how it is that I add it. So I add it to the end of the article. I think it doesn't really matter, but that's how I do it. So in WordPress, you just, um, you just add an HTML block. So just, uh, custom HTML. And then um, that text that you copied, you just paste it in there. That's it. Um, and then you, you, click update. Um, but I had already added it. Um, and well, I kind of zoomed in right there. But um, that's how you add it. And then you know, you can go to the view page source. And um, let's see, and you should be able to find it somewhere. Um, but anyway, where where you really want to check it, um, to make sure that you added it correctly, is um, you can type in schema validator onto Google and you're going to land on this page. It's a validator.schema.org and you're just going to take your URL and you're going to paste it in there, run test. 
and it's going to show you your schema right here. And so um, let's see this one, uh, I believe it's under article. Um, and so you can come in here and let's type in about, and here we go. So we have the about uh, schema and we have here um, training house painter and then we have here our mentions and we have uh, education and learning and so here you know we can see that everything was added correctly there are no error you can see right here it says zero errors zero warnings uh, for all of your your different schema on the page so that's how you know that it worked correctly um, and so that is exactly what I did for these 10 pages and you'll you'll come across some pages where it's kind of tricky to know what to add and so if I'm ever really unsure because there's just like no good matches, then I just don't add it at all. I rather not have it than to have schema that might be confusing for Google. But in this case, all, all of the ones in this test, um, they all had it uh, on the test group, of course, uh, but not on the control group. Um, all right, so that is how you add it. And um, versus the control group, again, it was about a 20% increase. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty much going to consider it a ranking factor for the time being, and I'm going to be doing that on all of my articles.